हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट चैप्टर नंबर 11 लाइट शैडो एंड रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड 6 एनसीईआरटी नाउ व्हाट इज लाइट व्हाट इज शैडोज एंड व्हाट इज रिफ्लेक्शन वी विल सी वन बाय वन लाइट सो वी नो दैट विदाउट लाइट वी कैन नॉट एबल टू सी एनी ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट्स वी सी डिफरेंट कलरफुल ऑब्जेक्ट्स अराउंड अस वी सी बसेस फ्लावर्स ट्रीज बिल्डिंग्स एवरीथिंग बिकॉज ऑफ द लाइट व्हाट इज शैडो the image suppose any object is there and is of the light so the shadow will be formed and what is reflection it is the image which we see in a mirror or in a clean water so we will take one by one light so we can see different objects with the help of light suppose you are kept in a dark, completely dark room so if you are in a completely dark room you will not able to see any of the objects but if that room is being lighted up either by a light either by a candle either by a torch then you can start obje, uh, observing all the objects why because light is present there we know the main source of light is sun there are other different sources also for example stars candle lantern bulb torch these are all sources of light without light we cannot able to see any of the objects now let us see what is the luminous objects and non luminous objects luminous objects objects that give out, out or emit light of their own are called luminous objects so the objects which gives light by their own which emit light or we can say they are the source of light that type of objects are called luminous objects examples are sun stars torch bulb candle so these are all luminous objects which emit light non luminous objects are the objects which do not emit the light which does not give light for example table cupboard wall they does not give the light so luminous and non luminous objects luminous which gives light and non luminous objects which does not give light these luminous objects are also known as known as source of light because they are the source they give us light they emit the light so we can also say that they are the source of light now let us see there are two types of luminous objects natural luminous objects and artificial luminous objects natural luminous means which emits the light by its own which are the produce the light naturally sun star firefly sun we know that uh, the main source is sun during the day time we obtain the light from the sun and during night time we uses tube lights bulb lantern candle and so on but the main source during the day time is our sun stars stars also emit their own light they are also a natural luminous object firefly now what is the firefly it is an insect during night time we can see some insects which emits the light that is the firefly now what is artificial luminous objects objects like example electric bulb lantern candle torch they are artificial they are man made either we in an electric bulb we it used by the electricity lantern we Uh, put the kerosene or candle either it we use by wax so these are the artificial luminous object now you will say that madam moon is also an luminous object yes moon is not a luminous object it is a non luminous object why because it takes the light of the sun so a moon has its uh, moon has the light moon gives us light but what it is not a no, it is a not a luminous object it is a non luminous object because it takes the light it reflects the light of the sun so we, moon is considered as a non luminous object now we cannot see light but when it falls on any particular object the object will visible be visible so light we cannot see light we can feel light but when it falls on any particular object we can that object will be visible to us now let us see the different types of objects based upon the light now first one we will see is transparent object now what is the meaning of transparent by the word transparent that means which can see clearly objects can be seen clearly so object any object if you take if it allows light to pass through it so if any object from that the light can pass then that type of objects are called transparent objects and in that objects we can see through them clearly so objects from the we can see clearly example air we can see you i can see 
uh, all the things which are being seen transparent so that is air is transparent then clean water if there is a clean water then we can see our image so that is transparent object glass glass is also a transparent object that means light passes completely in this objects light completely uh, falls on it and we can see the objects clearly example is air water and glass now let us see opaque objects opaque objects are the objects that does not allow the light to pass through it light does not pass through it if i keep a cup, uh, cupboard around the light near the light then the light will not pass from the cupboard through the cupboard so example wall iron cardboard etc these are all opaque objects through which light does not pass at all next one is translucent object translucent objects are the objects that allows light to pass through it partially means a little bit for example cellophane paper butter paper then milky glass muddy water these are all the examples of translucent objects in which light passes partially little bit the light will pass and little bit the light will not pa pass we can see the objects little bit not so much clearly as in the case of transparent objects now objects are visible when they reflect back the light so when the objects are visible when they reflect the uh, back the light falling on them falling on that object we see this objects when the reflection light reaches our eyes when that reflection light right reaches our eyes because eyes has a lens so that lights will reach our eyes and then only we can see the objects clearly now let us see what is shadow how are shadows formed so shadows are formed when an opaque object comes in the path of light so as i told you opaque object it does not allow the light to pass through it so when a any object when how the shadows are formed when any opaque object comes in the path of light suppose light is there and if i place an opaque object so the light will not fall and light will be stop so what happened the it will uh, a shadow will be formed for example light source opaque objects and screen are necessary for obtaining a shadow now how can a shadow be formed there are three factors first one is light source a light source is necessary then opaque object opaque object and screen a background screen should be there if there is no light then a shadow will not be formed opaque object if i clap then transparent object or translucent object the shadow will not be formed so i we need only an opaque object to form a shadow and screen if any no background is there so where will be the shadow form it will not form in the air because air is already transparent, uh, transparent so a background screen should be there then and then only we can see the shadow and we know that shadow is of black color we can see a black patch on the screen so a screen is also necessary for obtaining a shadow it can be obtained only on a screen it cannot be obtained in a tree on a tree uh, air it can obtain only on a screen a background screen should be there then and then only we can see the shadow shadow may or may not give us information about the shape of an object sometimes it gives the shape looking at the shadow we can see that this shape is of that particular object this shadow is of that particular object but sometimes it does not give the information for example if i take a coin and if that coin is places near the faces of the sun and it comes in the path of light then we can see a round shape then we can see that is that is a coin that is round shape but if i raise the coin near the edges that edge should be there if the edges of the coin is placed near the path of the light then what will happen we cannot properly identify whether that uh, coin is a round in shape so it may or may not give any information may give or may does not give the information about the shape we can sometimes identify that the shape of that object but sometimes it does not identify we cannot judge that what is the shape of that particular objects by just observing the shadow now we have seen natural phenomena solar eclipse and lunar eclipse these two types of natural phenomena are thus possible because of the shadow so this solar eclipse and lunar eclipse are the phenomena which are are the results of the shadows now 
we had seen that for shadows we required a light source and a opaque object and a, a screen now here shadows are formed due to the fact that light tra always travels in a straight line so light whatever the source is there it always travels in a straight line so any opaque object falls in front of it a shadow will be formed and light should be always travels in a straight line so one a pinhole camera is an uh, simple device that works on the principle that light moves in a straight line so we will see one experiment one uh, construction of a pinhole camera that uh, that it works on a straight that light travels in a straight line so it is their activity which is given in the textbook so we have to take two boxes one can slide into another with no gap in between them so let us see suppose this is one box rectangular box one way is greater bigger and the other one will be smaller now cut the open one side of each box so one side you have to cut it on the opposite face of the larger box make a small hole in the middle so here you have to make a small hole in the larger box and it should be in the middle of the box in the smaller box cut out from the middle a square with a side of about 5 to 6 cm so here we have to cut a square of about 5 to 6 cm in the middle of the smaller box cover this open square in the box with the tracing paper so here this square box you have to cover with the tracing paper and we know that tracing paper is a translucent paper it allows the light to fall partially so here this square box you have to cover it with the tracing paper or we can use any translucent paper slide the smaller box inside the larger one with the hole so this box this box will be inserted in the larger box so something like this will be there which is there already in the textbook so this and this will be overlap each other holding this is a pinhole camera holding the pinhole camera look through the open face of the smaller box now where is the open box so here through the pinhole camera through the smaller box just like to look it you should use a piece of black cloth to cover your hand and the pinhole camera so all this pinhole camera should be covered with a black cover cloth now try to look at some distant objects like a tree or a building through the pinhole camera make sure that the objects you wish to look at through your pinhole camera are in bright sunshine move the smaller box forward or backward till you get a picture on the tracing paper pasted on the other end so what we have to do we have to start, try to see the distant object suppose we are seeing a tree observing a tree which is a distant object from the smaller one and adjust this till we get this image of the tree when you see this object in the tracing paper that object will look erect and inverted it will look upside down so through the pinhole camera whatever the object we will see it will be inverted it will be upside down so what happens light tra travels over here and it reflects because it here is a translucent paper and whatever the object is seen it will look inverted so this is the principle that light moves in a straight line so pinhole camera is a one device in which whatever the objects we see that objects will be looked inverted or erect now we have seen a pinhole camera which works on the principle of light travels in a straight line so with the help of pinhole camera we can see the natural phenomena like the solar eclipse okay now let us see some activities of experiments that light travels in a straight line so let us take a piece of pipe or a long rubber tube so here we have to take our long piece uh, pipe or a long rubber tube then you have to light a candle and fix it on a table at one end of the room suppose here is a candle which is placed on a table and one rubber pipe is there or you can take a plastic tube
Now, standing at the other end of the room, look at the candle through the pipe. So, from here, you can have to see the flame of the candle. So, what you will observe? You will see that uh, the flame of the candle can be seen clearly because this pipe is straight. From here, if you observe, you can see the flame of the candle. Now, is the candle visible? Yes, the candle is visible. Bend the pipe a little while you are looking at the candle. So, what you will do? You will bend a pipe. So, in the second, second case, bend this pipe because this pipe is of rubber. So, you can bend it. It is a flexible. And bend the pipe a little bit. And again, you try to observe from this side. Is the candle visible now? Turn the pipe a little to your right or left. Can you see the candle now? So, when you observe from here, will you able to see this candle? Is the candle visible? No, the candle is not visible. If you turn up or right, left or right, then also, if you keep this rubber pipe straight, then and then only, the candle will be visible. So, from this activity, it is clear that light travels in a straight line. Let us see one another activity. Suppose you take a three cardboards. and place a candle over here from this three cardboards make equal holes in all the three cardboards and from here just try to observe the flame of the candle so you will see the flame of the candle but just shift this cardboard little bit over here and again you try to see the flame of the candle so what will happen you will not able to see the flame of candle as you shift this cardboard a little bit up what will happen it will become an opaque so light will stop over here so from this activity and this activity we can conclude that light always travels in a straight line if it does if it bends then we cannot able to see any of the object now let us see mirrors and reflection we are already aware of the word mirror if we want to see our own face then what we will see? We will see in the mirror only. So, what is the mirror? A mirror reflects the light falling on it. So, mirror, what is the use of mirror? It will reflect the light. It is a opaque object. It is not a transparent or translucent object. Mirror is an opaque object. So, when light falls on that mirror, mirror that light will be reflected. It has a shining smooth surface that reflects back the light falling on it so whenever you observe the mirror it is a smooth and it is a has a shining surface so that surface is shining so that when a light falls on it so that light will be reflect back it, it will reflect the light back falling on it and then we will see the image if you observe a plain mirror a plain mirror it will forms a virtual virtual means real image and erect image whose size is same as that of the object so whenever we see and mirror in uh, image in front of that mirror the image will be erect and virtual and it will be as the same size of that particular object now what is reflection the process of throwing back of light when it falls on the surface of an object so when a bouncing back of light or throwing back of light when it falls on any particular a object that is called reflection now let us see mirror changes the direction of light falling on it so here we will see one activity which is in the textbook uh, activity we need three friends over here so tell one of your friend to hold a mirror so one friend will be holding a mirror in one corner of the room and this should be done this activity should be done during night stand at a, another corner with a torch in your hand so one of this uh, friend will take a torch cover the glass of the torch with your fingers and switch it on adjust your fingers with a small gap between them so that you can get a beam of light so here on the torch you have to place the finger so that you can get a beam of light incident on the mirror this beam of light means a light which is straight 
it should not be spread a beam of light should be fall on this mirror direct the beam of the torch of light onto the mirror that your friend is holding do you see a patch of light on the other side yes we are we will see a patch of light on the mirror now adjust the direction of the torch so that the patch of light falls on the another friend standing in the room so uh, st one person which is standing over here so adjust the torch and adjust the mirror in such a way whatever the light which is falling on the mirror this light will be reflected on the this person which is standing over here so from here when the light is incident on the mirror this light will be reflected from the mirror it will go back and it will be incident on this third person so here why well, from this activity we can say that mirror changes the light of light it will change the direct it will not pass from here but it will change the direction of the light when falling on that mirror so from this activity we can say that it mirror can changes the direction of light now let us see light travels along the straight line and gets reflected from a mirror so we know that light travels in a straight line and when a uh, mirror is there it will get reflected so again one activity we will see fix a comb on one side of a large thermocol sheet and fix a mirror on the other side as shown in the figure so here suppose there is a thermocol sheet so at one side here we will arrange a comb and a mirror here a mirror should be placed spread a dark color sheet of paper between the mirror and the comb so here comb and mirror you have to place on dark color black paper keep this in sunlight or send a beam of light from a torch through the comb either you will keep this in the sunlight or you can incident a torch from this side a beam of light so what you will observe on the thermocol sheet or on the dark color pattern so here we will see a criss cross pattern of the comb something like this way a criss cross pattern will be formed a criss cross shadow will be formed on the dark paper and the rays will pass through this comb bristles because the rays are passing the rays are reflecting from here and it is falling on the mirror and this from the mirror it is reflecting back and this pattern criss cross pattern of this comb bristles will be seen on this black cloth or black paper so here we can see that light travels along a straight line and when it falls along a mirror it will reflect back so this was the conclusion i hope you have understood all the topics of light shadows and reflection thank you